So uh, you and I are in Alexandria, Virginia, not working at the intersection of Broad and Wall. And, you know, we're not super in the know, but we're, we're pretty on the up and up. And this kind of came out of nowhere. Was there a run up to the deal that maybe we missed? Were they talking for a while? Sure. There were some rumors. And it's actually kind of interesting uh, how, you know, the whole the whole thing came about. I, th- I think it was Franklin who said, uh, so the founder of Jarden, who, who mentioned that he was introduced, I think, by a banker or somebody at an investing conference to uh, the CEO, I believe, of uh, new world were made and that's kind of when it started it was back it was as recently as september wait they're all having drinks and it's like hey you should buy him like- well they started they, <laughs> I th- they were introduced to each other i think it was as recently as september and uh those talks must have developed very quickly and the rumors for this deal actually came they actually were reported i think by the wall street journal uh, about a week ago so on these initial reports uh that this potential merger was happening, new Rubbermaid shares traded up about 7.4%. Jardin shares similarly gained about 3.7%. And then, obviously, uh, yesterday, the deal was officially announced by the two companies. Uh, value Total equity value is about $13 billion. Other key terms are, um, in terms of the uh, the payment, each Jardin shareholder will receive 0.862 new Rubbermaid shares and $21 cash for each Jardin share they own. Uh, new at the uh, once the deal closes, new Rubbermaid will own approximately 55% of the combined company. The new entity is actually going to be called New Brands, nice oh, and wow. simple. Yeah, and it will be led by the current New Rubbermaid CEO, Michael Polk, who I now mentioned was the I believe the guy who was introduced to Franklin not too long ago, and they kind of right. came together on this. Is uh. Is Mr. Franklin sticking around in any capacity? So he will be joining the board of directors, and because um, he's getting a lot of shares, I he's at, he's he currently is no longer CEO at Jarden, but he's still involved, um, and he'll be joining the board of directors along with two other Jarden uh, uh, current executives who will also be joining the new old board of directors. So uh, you know, new brands they mentioned in the press release that they want to leverage. You know the new large size, the new scale that they have once they're combined, uh, to increase their presence with retailers, increase their presence agra- across geographic markets, improve their distribution, their cross-selling, their marketing capabilities. I see a lot of those possibilities there with some some of the, like the complementary brands, product offerings that they have. So they also touted about five hundred million dollars in cost synergies expected to be realized over the next four years, um, and if. The, all of those synergies come to fruition. This new company, New Old Brands, will enjoy about three billion dollars in annual adjusted EBITDA. Large, very large. Wow. Sixteen billion dollars in revenue. You know, big, big name in the consumer product space for sure. Um, so, talking a little bit also about the deal value and the premium, like you know, kind of how well Jardin shares are coming out, or Jardin shareholders are coming out of this. Um, you know, obviously both because of the rumors came out about a week in advance. The stocks have been a little volatile since then. Um, but basing the buyout price on the most recent closing price, so for yesterday, Jardin shareholders are getting about fifty-seven thirty-three per share value, um, and that's about a ninety percent premium to where they were. Tra- Trading pre buyout rumors, so about you know a yeah. little over a week ago, and then if you look based solely on their you know pre rumor levels, Jardin shareholders are getting about fifty nine sixty four per share, about a twenty three percent premium. Um, Jardin was actually also trading at just over. 15 times forward earnings, with analysts forecasting about 10% earnings growth over the next five years. So, you know, a 23, almost 25% premium on that's not too bad for a company, uh, you know, showing that has logged 10% growth, you know, over the past five years and is expected to continue that rate. And, um, you know, like I mentioned, that some of the complementary offerings, you know, they have a ton of brands that will. Work with each other, and that they'll be able to cross sell in the kitchen for baby products, outdoor products, and um, going back to what and you know rounding this out on that fr- discussion with about uh, Michael Franklin and his payout. So the Wall Street Journal reported that he's expected to gain as much as five hundred million dollars from this deal. Now it's that includes yeah that includes a significant portion from obviously his ownership in Jardin and you know what he's getting as a result with the cash and stock combination. There's also some interesting uh, details from you know like basically from his existing employment contract there's some clause that says if it's not renewed within like two years or something along those lines he also gets another 130 million dollars in stock uh and cash and other benefits wow uh on top of that uh 
you know, the uh, the journal also reported something about how he has the option to purchase the company planes at what their like at their uh, financial statement price is so it's you know you can depreciate that as an asset so after just a few years its value gets appreciated very quickly so he might be able to get those for like pennies on the dollar uh, compared to what their actual market value is so that's just another interesting tidbit for uh, how the founder of Jardin's kind of cashing out here but overall you know he it sounds like a fair deal he's done an incredible job yeah you know, this company just since 2001 has done an amazing job building up uh, its business it's its revenue I think for this year will actually sur- is actually surpassed is that of new Rubbermaid, but Rubbermaid has the biggest, bigger market capitalization, so it can kind of be seen as the as the as the buyer. But mm-hmm. overall, I'd consider this, you know, pretty more of a merger of equals than anything else. Cool. 